What's up guys, this is Davey here from phonebuff.com and today I'm be doing a comparison between three different processors and GPUs on three of the top Android smartphones available today. So on the left you have the HC Amaze 4G which is running a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S3 dual core processor with the Adreno 220 GPU. In the middle you have the Samsung Galaxy S2 which is running a 1.2 GHz Samsung Echinos 4210 dual core processor with the Mali 400 GPU. And on the right, you have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which is running a 1.2 GHz TI OMAP 4460 dual core processor with the SEX 540 GPU. All right, so I'm gonna be testing each of these processors and GPUs with Google Earth. So I have each device on the same Wi-Fi network and I've closed out all background apps. So I'll go ahead and load up Google Earth on each phone and I will wait for all three to finish loading up. So I'm not so much interested in which one actually loads the fastest, I'm more so interested in which one's gonna be able to handle the 3D buildings on Google Earth better. So I'll go ahead and load up 3D buildings on each device. So check 3D buildings. Check 3D buildings on the Galaxy S2 and then on the Amaze. So it does take a while for this to load up. So I'll go ahead and skip to uh, about a minute or so until these guys finish loading and then we'll zoom in and zoom out and see which one performs best. All right, so it's been about a minute or so and I've let each phone load up the 3D buildings. I have them all zoomed in on one building. I think it's the Bellagio. And uh, we'll go ahead and zoom out and zoom in on each phone to kind of give you an idea of which one performs best. So I'll go ahead and move out the Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy S2. And I will focus on the Amaze for right now and then uh, I'll show you the other two right after. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and zoom out. So I'll first I'll zoom out. So you can kind of see how choppy it is. Um, that's because there's so much data on this application. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Now I'm gonna kind of pan around. So I just wanna give you an idea as far as how smooth each phone performs. So you can see, you kind of get an idea as far as how smooth the Amaze is. I'll zoom in a little bit, zoom out one more time. And what I'm gonna do actually is look up at the building, so. All right, and then zoom out. So hopefully that gives you a better idea as far as what kind of performance you'll get with Google Earth, with the Adreno 220 and the Snapdragon S3. All right, so I'll go ahead and bring in the Epic, or the Galaxy S2, and um, We'll do the same thing. We'll just zoom in and zoom out. So you can tell right off the bat, this one's a little bit smoother than the Amaze. So the Echinos and the Mali 400. I'll go ahead and zoom in and zoom out from here again. And then let's go and look up at the building. All right, so this gives you a better idea. Um, it's a lot smoother than it was on the Amaze with the 1.5 GHz processor. Uh, this is the Echinos 1.2 GHz processor with the Mali 400. And uh, now, last but not least, let's look at the Galaxy Nexus and see how this guy performs. So we'll do the same thing again, zoom in and zoom out. And uh, this one just crashed on me right now, so gives you an idea as far as the processor in here. We'll go ahead and try to load it up one more time. Um, it doesn't always crash, actually sometimes it works pretty good, but uh, from my experience, the Galaxy S2 is usually the best as far as the performance goes. Um, the Galaxy Nexus with its TI OMAP 4460 usually doesn't crash on me, but sometimes it has, and same with the uh, Amaze, but we'll go ahead and try to load it up one more time. Alright, so I've reloaded it, and uh, we'll go ahead and do the zoom in and zoom out again. And uh, this time it's performing a lot better. Of course, uh, it didn't crash, but we'll go ahead and zoom in again. And uh, we'll go ahead and rotate it. And we'll zoom in to where it is looking up at the building. So, pull this guy down, whoops. So hopefully this gives you a better idea as far as what you'll get with this processor and GPU. So we're zooming up. All right, so I'll zoom 
in and out of here. So um, this one did crash when I uh, first loaded it up and tried to do it. But right now it looks a little bit smoother than the Amaze, but you, know, you have to consider in the factor that uh, it did crash on me and you know the other two devices didn't. So I'll go ahead and press home and uh, show you what happens when I press home. It has to reload pretty much everything on my home screen, like all the widgets and stuff. So let's look at the Galaxy S2 and see what happens. So I'll just zoom in and zoom out again really quick. So zoom in, zoom out, we'll press home and uh, everything just already loaded. So it didn't have to reload the uh, home screen. And then we'll get the Amaze with the Snapdragon processor. And again, we'll zoom in and zoom out. All right, press home. And I didn't have to reload the uh, home screen widgets and whatnot. So uh, that gives you a better idea as far as the points you get. I'll say in first place is the Galaxy S2. I'll put the Amaze in second place just because it didn't crash and um, you know, didn't have to reload the home screen even though I'd say the performance wise, the Galaxy Nexus did a little bit better with the TI OMAP 4460, but those are the results. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is DaveFumbleF.com. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to visit FumbleF.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos.